Hi, I'm Dan, I'm the ambassador for VO5 and this is Ellie. Hi. And today we're going to show you how to create cat ears using the hair itself in some very simple steps. Perfect look for Halloween season. So for step one, we want to smooth over the hair and we're going to use the straightening irons for that. But before we do, we need to apply a heat protect spray. This is absolutely essential whenever you're using any heated tools as it will minimise the damage caused by the tool itself. So we're going to take quite large sections through the hair. Remember, we only really want to smooth the surface over. We're not creating a perfected look with this. So we can be quite loose with our sectioning. Now I've got some large plated irons which will cover more of the hair in one go, but use whatever you have, it's absolutely fine. And we are smoothing over the surface. And you'll see that steam coming off. That's the heat protection doing its job. How much of the heat protection should you use? Is it just a rough spray all over, or? Well, I would say more is better. You can never have too much protection on your hair, that's for sure. For step two, we now want to create a high ponytail through the top, which is going to be the foundation for our cat's ears. So we're literally just going to take quite a large, almost triangular section, incorporating all of the sides and the top, and we're going to work this into a high ponytail. So brushing through all the time. Here we might just want to drop a couple of pieces down just for a little bit of softness around the face area. Do you need this bit to be really smooth, like no lumps and bumps? Relatively, yes, I would say so. A little bit of root volume is not really too much of a problem. It doesn't have to be very tight to your head. But we want the details to come out through the ears themselves yeah. rather than be taken over by what's going on underneath. And once we've got that nice and smooth, we're going to hold centrally on the top and use our elastic to create that ponytail. Then we're going to wrap the band around twice and then on our third loop, we're just going to pull that towel halfway through. We've created a loop section on top. For our next step, we want to add a bit of hold, a bit of texture to this loop section for certain. So we're going to use some powder. Now powder is not only for volume, but also helps to give that extra grip and hold to hair. So it's quite perfect when you're building up shapes in this kind of way. So now that's there, we're going to divide that into two to create our ears. So it's worthwhile at this point to spend a little bit of time just perfecting that shape of the ear, because once we've gripped in, it's pretty much fixed. And once you're happy with one side, we want to perfect the other. Don't worry too much if you get some strands poking out at this point, that's fine. We can smooth it over and perfect it with some hairspray later. Which leaves us just with this towel piece at the back. All we're gonna do here is nicely spread it out across that area. So we're also gonna hide some of the divide between the underneath hair and where we took the ponytail section on top. So now we just want to finish that off with a hairspray. This is a volume hairspray. So it's light enough to not create a stickiness or a crispiness to the hair at all, but still firm enough to really hold that look for as long as we need it. And then once we're happy with our overall shape, just a final misting. And there you have it. A very easy to create cat ear inspired look in some very short and easy steps. How's that for you, Elle? I love it. I'm so ready to go triple treat now. <laughs> <laughs>